Hello everyone, welcome back to Reads Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing the Commander Class Armada Optimus Prime. So while this is my first Transformers review, let me get some explanation about how some of these Transformers like sizes work. Like this is Commander Class, the second biggest or the second price point of the Transformers line. Sort of a midpoint between a leader class and a titan. And a leader class is your standard, like, big figure that comes out for each wave of Transformers. For example, here's the leader class Armada Megatron. So, as you can see, he is pretty big, but not as big as... Armada Prime here because Armada Prime has a lot more budget to him. Well, this one just has like he like we don't get a new commander for each wave of like the current line that we're in. We only get one commander for one part of the wave and then new leaders for each wave. So and then what's below a leader is a Voyager, for example. Here is the Voyager Armada Starscream, which is the price point below Leader, which is smaller, tends to be a bit more versatile, and a lot more good figures come out of that. And then there's Deluxe, like Deluxe Armada Hotshot here. This is the most common size class there is, because there's four, away, four Deluxes a wave. And pretty much, like out of a grab bag you're probably going to get a good one there are a few meh ones but that's for your own opinion and then the size below deluxe class is the new one called core class which is essentially for smaller figures this is studio series ss86 wheelie from the 86 movie like and it is the smallest size class out of all of them so yeah, these are just like cheap, like $10 ones, but core classes are surprisingly good and fun little pocket toys to take around. So yeah, now that I've gotten the explanations of the size classes out of the way, let's focus on Armada Optimus Prime. And we'll get to the reviews of the other ones at a later date. So yeah, first starting with Armada Prime in his vehicle mode. This replicates the design that he had in the Armada show down to a T. Like, it even has, like, the big boxy side bits, the freaking gigantic, like, front of the truck, even the, like, like, side gun smokestacks. Yeah, it's just really cool. And it is, se and you can separate each of these from him and pull it out these little things to keep this standing on its own and have it be like its own little separate trailer thing this trailer does more we'll get to that later but we are first just going to get this out of the way and then focus on and right now just focus on prime because he is the big selling point of the action and i forgot to transform him properly before setting them up for this review you're supposed to have these turned around and pegged in to like these spots here to make it like roll properly and he has pinned wheels which is really great for like doing that this is really nice because he just rolls easily and whilst you do see these are giant fists these will come in later trust me but yeah we're replicating the original design and making improvements on the original toy, which I wanted as a kid, but from what I heard, the transformation... Because the original toy had an auto-transforming gimmick, and it wasn't all that successful. I heard even in one case it caught on fire. So yeah, because the motor was just burning too hot. Well, like, just trying to force moving stuff, and then that caused a fire. I think that happened to another creator on this platform, uh, Bolt Matrix, I think his name was. So, yeah. Light this top, 
bottom pretty clean down here no visible robot mode kill and we're going to get to transforming this so just do this here flip the wheels down here so that they're angled like this there is another there is a tab right here for them to like rest on so that way you know you stopped and then pull these up flip down the feet with these now make sure the tabs right here go into the back into the slot here to keep them stable ratchet this forward one open the sides flaps and move the butt flap and then you can separate the legs okay so now we focus on the top half as he is getting taller so we do move these parts right here to the side and then move this down and then more detail here a i think it's a spark chamber and that's what this is supposed to be a spark is essentially the soul of a transformer so again there's the face and you just untab the arms flip them around do the same on the other side for the final step just pull out the sides of the chest and then slide them down and then bang you got armada optimus prime in his robot mode and this is the perfect toy of this design it just in the transformers fandom we had a figure that was lovingly called Bendy Prime. It was essentially this Prime. Well, it was this design, but it was more articulated. It just went from robot to truck, and that was it. But this is an improvement on that. Because whilst it can do robot to truck, it can do Armada Prime's third mode, which we'll be getting into later after we discuss some features about the trailer. So, yeah. Like, this guy is worth the commander price point, but do note, whilst he does have the standard of articulation, like, ball joint at the head, like, hinges at the shoulder, like, where it goes up and then rotates here, and then swivel, double jointed elbows, and a wrist swivel, he has no waist swivel, but that's because of what he does later on that we'll be discussing. Ratcheted hip joints that can go forward, about, like, parallel... And if you move the butt flap out of the way, you can go almost back that far. Does a pretty great split, assuming these side skirts don't get caught on the wheels. Rotation at the leg. A ratcheted knee joint. That'll come in later, trust me. And a ankle pivot, which has become standard on every Transformer from war for cybertron siege onwards and then he has a toe bend down and oh that's not supposed to happen and a toe bend forward if you need that for like any stop motion animation projects like that but yeah like like this guy is just for a bulky design, he is very dynamic, but also, I also almost forgot one more feature. In the front chest here, he has the Matrix of Leadership, which has become standard pretty much for every Prime that's been released from, like, Earthrise onward, which was <laughs> something that I'll explain when I get to the Earthrise Prime review. But yeah, this is removable. And it is clear plastic, but it is really nice, especially with that clear gem in the middle. But yeah, it is just clear plastic. So, and he can't really hold it because he doesn't have any like opening fingers. But, we can... but honestly, I don't think he really needs it. He needs to be able to hold it. He just needs to be able to look really, really good. And bringing back the bringing something that was off the trailer, this is his gun, and it does look pretty big for this version of Prime, but all in due time, we'll explain that in a bit. But first things first, 
let's get this out of the way and bring back in the trailer. Because the trailer does have one other feature besides the final thing that we'll be talking about. So just let me flip that up. And then we come back here. Move these panels out of the way. Fold these out and then split it. And then move these out parallel and make sure that these panels are like this after you pull this up there. And pull this out there, that's good. Okay, flip these down, get this side the way it's supposed to be. Okay, flip those out, and then move these down there, put those there. Do the same on the other side. Flip it around. Make sure these tabs go into these slots. And then, ooh, this is supposed to come off, by the way. It comes out, it's not attached in the box, so you don't have to really worry about it. This is a feature. So, there, flip, turn that around, and then turn, flip that up. And then you have the base mode. Whilst it is a pretty lackluster base compared to the original version which had a more like higher tower platform thing right around here this sacrifices that for more articulation and honestly it was just kind of pointless like it was more so a place to just stack mini cons which was the main gimmick of armada like all oh, having like little tiny people to just like power up like your toys because a lot of the original armada designs had like built-in gimmicks that you needed the mini cons to activate but the thing about these updates is like for this armada prime and the other ones that i showed at the beginning is that they don't need the mini cons to do pretty much any of their stuff it's just self-contained their own gimmicks so now yeah, this is the base mode so yeah it's just a little like playset to put like little tiny bots or just have like the figure standing behind it it's not that impressive but it does what it's supposed to do and the cute little detail that i noticed after messing with this figure for a few little while there is a little targeting screen right here on this little piece which i thought was just really cute when i like had first noticed it but yeah, let's get to this thing's third mode and then, so turn this around, flip this panel up, and then if you haven't done it already by accident, then just like push this piece down. It comes flat like this out of the box. You're supposed to like pull it up and then it tabs into these slots right here when it's in trailer mode. So yeah, just untab these, untab this, and then, Flip these down. Let's flip these panels to the side. And then rotate this entire section so that way it's facing where this is supposed to be. Let me adjust the camera. Flip that up. And then this thing, you just turn it around. Flip it like this. And then it goes into these two ports right here, these hexagonal ones. There you go. You can remove this if you just don't want the butt plate here, but honestly, it's fine. It doesn't hinder that much. These down and flip out the feet. So, and there you have a pair of legs. Now, what is a pair of legs without a torso? Which is what? Um, which is what this prime does and that was the entire gimmick behind these like the Ar armada prime like in the original series 
And you can pretty much replicate his transformation. You just flip these up, flip the foot back in, and then rotate this around, flip that back in, and then you flip this foot back up to cover up the gap where the fist was. And then you just do the same thing for the other side. There. And now he has hand feet. Okay. So, and then just come up to the head, straighten it up, flip these parts back up into the head, and then leave these parts alone for a bit. Then untab this, yeah, from th this, from this, and then you split it open while making sure that the these parts all stay together because they do have the tendency to just flop out so and then you flip this around push this down there, there we go flip those down then bring out the head there you go so, and then flip these arms back up okay get that out of the way and then you bring the arm back and then you pull the arm forward like this and then you tab it, this tab, into this slot. It is hard to show on camera, but there you go. Then you repeat the same thing on the other side. There. And this is a common mistake I see in a lot of reviews. They don't, they just tend to plug this onto the chest like this, after obviously flipping out the ears but they just tend to leave these parts out. You're supposed to push these in like they were in vehicle mode and bring down the arms. And there we go. There we got the top of it. So just here. So you want to slide this silver chest bit here into this part of the like backpack here. So just carefully slide it in because this will cause paint chipping uh, for the first few transformations. And then you take this plate that we flipped up earlier and then tab it into these holes right here. This will lock it into place on the top part. And then to lock it into place on the bottom part, and you have to squish these two side bits and then hold them and then just squish in down and for on my copy it does get a bit stuck but overall it does work pretty smoothly i haven't had any breakages yet there has been no reported breakages as well so that's good so here we have the full combination of armada optimus and god this is an amazing figure and this looks amazing as well and a massive improvement over the original in terms of just looks, articulation, and like, it just looks amazing. There are no words for how beautiful this looks, especially in person, because Armada fans have been clamoring for a new, like, takes on, or new versions of their, like, favorite designs, especially because there was an actual like version of Armada Optimus Prime shown as a prototype before a long time ago, I think at a Tokyo Toy Fair. But that version infamously can't transform and was just basically just there to gauge interest in a new take on the Armada design, or at the very least a new release. And people were, and for some reason, People currently are mad over this figure specifically because it's not the one that they wanted or it's not the one that they saw at the Toy Fair. And honestly, I don't get those complaints considering that I always wanted a version of this design and one that was just super poseable comparative to the original because originally this pair of legs right here was just static it, these were the front part was just panels the side the back it was just all panels that just flipped around and formed the legs and you could barely move the arms like besides i think like an elbow joint and like shoulders that was it 
and honestly, this is the superior toy. It may not have lights and sounds, it may not have like an auto transformation gimmick, but this is better for it. And, uh, and they did future proof this a bit. Because back here, there is a tab, there is a slot for the original overload, which was like an over the shoulder like type of robot thing that formed into like a pair of like double over the shoulder cannons. You can use the original one, but from what I heard, it is pretty shaky and it doesn't really work. It, look, it looks good if you have it attached, but that's it. And you can remove this little Autobot symbol right here from the chest implying that they're doing a jet, new jet fire in the future that becomes essentially a pair of jet legs and this will be where the new chest plate will attach so they have future proof to this for new like for the next combination and the newer figures that will probably be coming out down the line but right now as it is it is really really good like it's just so nice and it sort of just fills that spot in my like soul where i always wanted this design but never could as a kid so let's get on with articulation the the head has a really expressive ball joint like like you could get like full quizzical like angles and then just not that much looking up also because of the uh my focus camera, mostly because of the like little collar back here, but honestly, it is really nice. And focus, 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 there we go. And he does have a ratcheting shoulder, so yeah, and that's not the only thing you can do. And even at the hip joint, you can use that to just go all the way up. You got a full 360 at the shoulder here, and full swivel at the upper arm, and a ratcheted elbow from the leg joint, mind you, which is why they're ratcheted in the regular robot mode. And what this design has over the original as well is a waist swivel, but you do have to be careful of the front and side panelings because... Well, the front paneling specifically, because if you do rotate it enough, even if you can rotate to the side, it does look a bit awkward. That's one thing I do wish that they had planned for, but honestly, it's just a small problem. And do be wary of these hips panels, because they do have tabs, and they can get locked into the hinge there at the side of the leg causing it to lock up so if you have encountered that problem just push it back in and then pull out that side screen and then boom you can get the full split so yeah and just move that out of the way it does have a ratcheting like full kick not that much to the back because of the butt flap but honestly it's fine does have a full knee joint on a ratchet which is so good like it just you get like a full on like knee like excuse like iron man like esque like fist to the ground sort of uh, look but yeah then also he has full like nine like 90 degree like ankle pivot and a little block to sort of fill the gap if you go like that far but and oh yeah also i forgot to mention he has a wrist swivel and opening fingers he was originally going to have a gimmick that was on a previous commander class figure where this little post would go into the hand but they didn't have the budget for that, so they just molded the spot there. So you can just put his gun there. So, yeah. And that has been my review for the Commander Class Optim Armada Optimus Prime. So give me a like, give me a follow, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. 
and honestly if you can only get one commander class figure this year i recommend him this just has so much fun play value and it's just a dream come true for me it's just it fills that spot in my soul so yeah this has been read reviews signing out